Welcome back to another episode of the Brown Sugar Cafe Podcast, the place where poetry meets conversation. I'm your host, Terrence P. Elmore. In today's episode, we're going to ask the question, are we living or existing? You woke up this morning. Now what? What are you going to do with this blessing and opportunity? What are you going to do today? That was the question that I asked a few weeks ago in my Facebook and Instagram stories. And to my surprise, the majority of the answers I received were going to work. And my whole purpose for um, posing that question in my stories was to hopefully inspire someone to do something else with their day besides going to work. For those of us who are fortunate to have jobs, we've gotten into a routine of going to work. Our daily routine consists of going to work, maybe running some errands in between that time, going to the gym, heading back home, and starting the same process over the next day. And so my intentions for that post was to hopefully encourage some people to think about something outside of work. Um, I did receive a few responses about writing goals and one response was live and that's just it. I don't think we've, we really think about the difference between living and existing. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to talk about how I've gotten to this point of creating a podcast. So a few years ago, I decided to write a collection of poems and publish them. I decided that I wanted to create a book and this was the lane that I wanted to go. I wanted it to be a book of poetry. And so I started writing poems every day. I started setting aside time every day to write my poems for this book. And in doing so, it gave me a sense of purpose, um, an additional sense of purpose to my day because I was looking forward to writing these poems and getting them out. And the more poems that I wrote, the more excited I became. And so in this process, I realized that a lot of people didn't know that I even wrote poetry, which is my fault because that was just something I never really shared. And so I said I needed to kind of make an announcement, but not just an announcement, but to shed a light on my poetry. And so I created a blog. It's called the brown sugar cafe dot blog. And so I decided to post poems every Wednesday. And so that was my idea just to get you know, get myself out there, get people familiar with my poems. But before I actually created the blog, I started thinking that I needed to spread a message of love and my blog would be a way to do so. If I could get people to read my blog, if I can get people to subscribe to my blog, then I could do my part and spread some love in a world that seems to be full of hate. And so That's where everything pretty much started. And I'm telling you, when I let people know that I was working on a book, I thought that the book itself would inspire people, inspire people to, you know, believe in love. The people that didn't believe in love, um, rekindle the love in people's lives, you know, everything pretty much dealing with love. But in the process, I started inspiring people to write their own books. It's people who have had ideas for books. And from me telling them that I was writing a book, I haven't even published the book yet. And people were telling me that I inspired them to write their books. And I was like, wow, like it blew my mind because here it is me just having an idea that I thought was kind of small at the time was bigger than I anticipated it being because one day I just decided to set aside time to do something outside of my daily routine 
and it began to inspire other people to do the same thing. And so once I launched the blog, um, I started receiving a lot of responses um, and that itself inspired some people to create their own blogs, um, inspire some people to write, inspire some people to do different things that they have been wanting to do all their life or started doing earlier in life and may have put on the shelf. It inspired them to do it, pick it up and do it again. And that that kind of, I, I don't know, it's, that blew my mind as well. And then um, fast forward a couple of years, I decided to publish another book. So um, at this point, I have two books, two poetry books. The first one is Love Letters, a Collection of Poems. And the second one is The Essence of Love. And with that second book, I felt led to stay in that same vein of love, to continue to do my part in spreading love in a world that seems full of hate. And so I'm saying this to say that that idea you have or that dream you have or even a small thought that you it may be small to you, but it could be big to someone else. And stepping outside of your daily routine and making the steps towards that goal or that idea is much more important than you realize. It can open up a world of possibilities for other people. And it is so refreshing for me because like my thing is to inspire people. I want people to be the best versions of themselves. I want people to succeed in life. And so I realized that just me stepping out and doing something that I thought was small at one time could help someone else. And then I had the idea to start writing lifestyle blogs, like blogs outside of my weekly poems. Um, these particular blogs I do at least once a month. And from that idea, I decided to create a podcast. And so my podcast would be the subject, um, so to speak, or a continuation of that lifestyle blog post. And in doing this podcast, I've inspired other people to start their podcast. I've been getting a lot of questions about doing a podcast and that has really blown my mind as well because just the smallest thing, and I've talked about this in other episodes, can make the biggest impact in other people's lives. And I talk a lot about dreams and following your dreams and make your dreams happen. You may be listening to this episode and think that your dreams or your goals may not require you to take out time during your day. Your dreams or your goals may not be big enough to set aside time during the day. Okay, so if you're feeling that way, then I'll leave you with this. This was a quote that I saw on Instagram from Ryan Leak, and it says, you may not have big dreams or audacious goals, but you may know someone else who does. Perhaps you are where you are to help someone else accomplish what they could never pull off on their own. And then the caption goes further and says, there's at least one person in your life that's dreaming big alone. Think about helping them pull it off. So today I want to challenge you to think of someone who may need your help to pull off their goals, may need your resources, may need your, your knowledge, may need your patience to help them pull off their goal, who you can help. Because maybe you're at the place where you are in your life to help someone else achieve their goals. And you know what? Just maybe while you're helping this other person pull off their goals, you realize the goals and the dreams that you're supposed to pull off for yourself. 
maybe you will realize that your goals and dreams are worth setting aside the time to give them the attention that they need. Maybe you will realize that you are here for a reason more than just going to work every day. Stop existing and start living. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Brown Sugar Cafe podcast. Once again, I'm your host, Terrence P. Elmore, and this is the place where poetry meets conversation. Hit that follow button and turn on your notifications so you won't miss an episode. Check out my blog, thebrownsugarcafe.blog. Also connect with me on Instagram at thebrownsugarcafe. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and as always, remember, keep pushing forward.